Are you worried about having enough money? Are you worried about keeping enough money? Are you worried about inflation taking all of your money? Are you worried about being able to ever retire? If you answered yes to any of these questions, today I am talking about the three investments to make to never have to worry about money again. I am Tiffany Thomas with WealthyTiffany.com and I achieved financial freedom and became a millionaire. If you're looking to do one or both of those things, make sure and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and we're going to dive right in. And make sure and stick around until the very end of the video because you wanna make sure that you are doing all three of these types of investments if you really want to never worry about money again. The first investment that I want to talk about is investing in yourself. And I'm not talking about just being generic and studying different things and keeping your mind fresh and consuming a lot of content, but I'm talking about being very specific in investing in yourself and a certain skill that is going to produce income for you. When you are specific about what you're investing in, it can really help you to make more money, to increase that income. And to just give you a few examples, it could be something related to your current job. Maybe you are a programmer and you want to be the best programmer out there. So invest in different courses that are going to help you become better at programming. Or if you studied marketing like I did and you wanna be the best marketer, then take some courses that are directly related to marketing and enhance that skill. Or maybe you want to start your own business so you want to start investing in courses that teach you how to create your own business or find a mentor that could help you do that. When you are investing in yourself, make sure that you are very specific and are investing in things that are going to help you increase your income. I was listening to a podcast the other day, the Life Coach School, I think is what it's called. And she was saying that a lot of people come to her and ask her to help her get a raise. And she would ask them, are you providing enough value that it is worth it for your employer to give you that raise? Do you have the skill set? Do you have the knowledge, the education that they are looking for? Or are you just hoping to get a raise because you want a raise and you haven't gotten a raise in a while? You want to make sure that you know what it is that your boss values so that you can concentrate on increasing that skill, that particular item that is going to help you get a raise. When we are investing in ourselves, we want to make sure that we are consuming content that is going to increase our income. I've seen a lot of people spend a lot of money on degrees that they don't even use. And there are lots of different ways to get access to content for very specific skills. If you wanna get really good at sales, which is a great skill to master, there are a lot of different courses that you can take. You don't have to do a full degree in sales. There is also a lot of free content that you can get. And of course, we don't wanna just be consuming all of this content, but we wanna be putting that content that we are learning into action. The second investment that we want to make is in the stock market. This is going to help us grow our wealth over time. And I have seen this in my own life with my own investments in the stock market. I personally like investing in an index fund and then I do have a few individual stocks. But we can keep investing in the stock market very simple and still get really good returns on our investments. And if you're curious to know which index fund I like, I did a video for you. I will leave a link above and below. You can check that out after this video is over. But honestly, we cannot leave our money sitting in a savings account. We need to have it invested. And one simple way to do that is in the stock market. On average, the stock market has returned 10% over the years. So if we are leaving our money sitting in a savings account, we are earning maybe 1%, maybe even 2% now, but it is no nowhere near what we could be earning if we invested in the stock market. And if you're thinking, well, it probably takes a lot of money to get started in the stock market. It actually doesn't take hardly any money at all. You can do it with $5. And I created a video about exactly how to do this. So I will leave a link to that one above and below in the description. The stock market contains a whole bunch of different successful companies that we can invest in. And that way those companies can continue to grow and our investments can continue to grow. I know that I am grateful that I did invest in the stock market already. And of course I wish I would have done more even sooner, but nonetheless, I am glad that I started when I did and continue to invest over time because I have seen over a hundred percent returns on my investments. So it doesn't just have to be that 10%. It can be a significant increase in our investments. Comment below and tell me if you are already investing in the stock 
stock market. And if you are investing in the stock market consistently over time, you are able to build that wealth without really thinking about it. You can actually automate the entire process. So it's very simple to do. And with your stock market investments, if you hold those investments for at least one year, then you can pay less in taxes because you'll be paying what's called a long-term capital gains tax rate instead of the short-term capital gains tax rate, which is usually your ordinary income tax rate. And this is actually really cool because if you were just to live off of your stock market investment, you could end up paying $0 with federal income taxes because of the long-term capital gains tax rate. If you are making up to about $40,000, and it's even more if you include the standard deduction that you can take when you do your taxes, that tax rate is 0%. So not only is your wealth growing over time in the stock market, but when you are taking those investments out, at least for the ones that you have to pay taxes on when you take those investments out, you're paying less in taxes as long as you hold it for a year, instead of with your normal nine to five paycheck where you have to pay your ordinary income tax rate, which is most likely going to be higher than the long-term capital gains tax rate. And this is just one benefit of investing. And this is part of the example of how the rich get richer. They invest their money, so they're able to pay less in taxes. The third investment to make so you will not have to worry about money again is investing in real estate. And I personally love investing in real estate. This has made the biggest difference on me being able to become financially free and become a millionaire. So real estate is definitely a game changer. And I do have a lot of videos about investing in real estate on my channel. I will leave a link to the real estate investing playlist above and below in the description. I personally like investing in physical properties and I do buy and hold. So I plan to hold my properties for the long term even though I did sell one just last year. And if you're curious on why I did that, I have a video for you. I'll leave a link above and below. But honestly, having buy and hold properties means that I can collect cash flow every single month from my tenants. And not only that, my properties will continue to appreciate over time because I hold them for the long term. And yes, there are other ways to invest in real estate. People will do fix and flips where they take a property that needs to be fixed up and they will do some remodeling and sell it for a profit and they will take that profit and then they could buy another property and do the same thing if they want to. So you could invest in properties that would be for different businesses that they would rent out your properties and you would collect cash flow from that every month. But I've kept it pretty simple with the way that I invest in real estate. And since I was able to invest in the stock market and in real estate, they kind of helped each other. When I wanted to buy my fourth property, I took some of the money that I had invested in my brokerage account in the stock market and put that toward my down payment. I was able to switch some of the stock market investment over to my real estate investment. And along the way, I was able to continue to increase my knowledge. I talked to a couple of my mentors about investing in real estate. So I was able to invest in the skill set of investing in real estate, which helped to grow my money even more. And not only collecting that cash flow and seeing the appreciation of my properties over time, I'm also able to do tax write-offs. So there are tax deductions that you can take when you invest in real estate. If you just have a nine to five job, then you are paying taxes on that money you are making from your nine to five job. But if you are investing in real estate and collecting income from that, you can deduct out certain expenses. So you are not paying taxes on that full amount of cash flow that you are receiving. Comment below and tell me real estate if you are already investing in real estate. If we really never want to worry about money again, we need to focus on investing our time and our money in things that are going to make us more money. For example, we want to invest in assets in the stock market, in real estate. That way our money can work for us instead of us always working for the money. And once we have those assets, those assets can pay for other things that may not make us money. But that's all right because we are already investing in those assets. So those are the three different investments to make to never have to worry about money again. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and share it with someone else who would like to hear this information. And hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell to get notified on when I post new videos. And if you want to see even more content from me, make sure and check out the videos on the side of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.